Okay, who makes cleaning fun? Who makes cleaning easy? It's you, Michael Sullivan. That's right. Oh, look at, and the difference is clear. Get rid of your old cash in the trash, little swiffy, dusty things where you're throwing stuff away. Get rid of all your dirty mop water where you're ringing and you're making a bigger mess. I cannot believe that you're doing streak-free glass there, my friend. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive, huh? I like it. Well, uh, this is brand new here to HSN, and I have to say, if anybody can make cleaning fun, sign me up. This is a genius solution. I don't care if you've got tile or formica, if you've got hardwood floors, if you have a glass floor. Beware of those who live in glass houses. Beware of those who have glass floors, apparently. Michael, welcome back. Everybody was going crazy for this earlier today, my friend. Yep, super, super excited. This yep. is the brand new Hurricane In-N-Out mop because it goes in. Dirty, it comes out nice and clean. And this is the flat mop version, okay? Now, if you're used to using a mop like this, which yeah. is your uh, dust mop right here, yeah. well, you know the problem is, uh, it's like wrapping dollar bills around it, your mop pretty is. much every time you mop your floor. For These sure. pads, you gotta touch them with your hands, you gotta constantly buy the new pads from the store. Now, this is my mop. You can see the difference in size. Yeah. Uh, it works exactly the same way. Obviously, we've got the stainless steel handle. We've also, it's a larger handle. It's a bigger handle. It's got the comfort grip design here as well. And uh, this is an unbelievable new product from Hurricane. It's, it's a genius solution. I mean, no kidding. Because I think for a lot of us out there, we love the idea of our tile and our hardwood and our formica, but the problem is it gets hard to clean. No, exactly. I mean, this is made from microfiber. Now, any yeah. cleaning expert out there, and I am a cleaning expert, but if you've ever used microfiber before for cleaning, you know as well as I do on how good it is. It leaves no That's street fantastic. marks True. or smear marks whatsoever on any surface. Okay, now I just picked up this whole entire oh, wow. mess in seconds, no problem. It works on any surface. What I do love about this mop too is its low profile design look. You can easily mop underneath a bed or underneath a couch. Get around the toilet bowl. It's got that 360 oh, yeah. degree swivel head which allows you to get into all those difficult to reach spots like uh, yeah, pretty much behind your toilet bowl, yeah, just like so. Now to get it clean, this is the best part. Look, all you gotta do is take it over to the brand new bucket right here, okay? okay. Let's just screw this back in. Didn't do that tight, there we go. All right. Put it into the bucket just like so. Yeah. And look at this. Oh, that's cool, like a little squeegee or something. Yeah, it's a squeegee action, look at that. Yeah. I mean, that's how it gets clean. Very simple, very, very easy to use. All the dirt gets driven right out of the mop, right it into the bucket does. where it belongs. Now we've got actually, uh, we put a clear glass on I was gonna say, here. you did that special, we right? We did that special so you can actually see what is happening. You then simply take the mop out of the washer side, you place it in the dryer side. Okay. That's how you dry your mop. So one side to wash, the other side to dry. Nice. The best part is you're always cleaning your floors with a brand, like a clean like a mop. Clean, like a which clean mop Which good head. sense, really. Right, it really does. So by the way, they've got a behind me here. So. Is there a difference between the microfiber? Is one like a little more dense there than is. the other? One's got built-in scrubbers gotcha. in it. Yeah, so the other okay. one's, one's for polishing, one's got built-in scrubbers. Okay. And uh, yeah, nice. and it comes with the two pads. So pretty much you're getting the bucket, you're nice. getting the two pads, you're getting the mop. Everything you need for $39.95. I mean, this yeah. is such great value for money. It really is. And the other thing that I like about it, because I've got hardwood floors all yeah. over my home, and the problem becomes depositing, you're not supposed to put water or leave water on a hardwood floor. Exactly. Or you're gonna cause a problem. So then the other problem is, okay, well then how do I clean my hardwood floors, right? No, exactly, I mean, a lot of people have to put it like a towel down underneath their feet to dry their sure. hardwood floors. With this look, let the microfiber do the cleaning. No more putting the towel down. Uh, uh, it will leave no streaks or smears yep. whatsoever. If you've got stubborn scuff marks like this, look, just apply a little bit more pressure and that can easily remove those stubborn scuff marks. Now, it weighs less than a pound, so if you want to yeah. mop up and down your staircase, if you've got wooden stairs, no problem whatsoever. What I love about this mop too is, look, you can use it on its oh, side. Oh, come on, really? Use it to clean the oh, kick Oh, no, plate. that's neat. I've never seen anything yeah, quite like well, that. Yeah, well, it's difficult to read spots. Then you, uh, for dusting, for dust, it's a must. I mean, yeah. it's unbelievable for dusting. It will leave that nice streak-free shine every single time, so it's great for dusting. And uh, I love it, the fact that it's got that 360 degree swivel head, which allows yeah. you to get right into the corners, just like so, no problem whatsoever. And it will literally dry your floor 
in less oh, it's doing than about you know, right. 20, 30 seconds, your floors will be safe to walk on. Sure. Now, I just cleaned all that wood, um, but you know what's the first thing you have to do before you mop? You've got to sweep. I, I, was, I was just going to say, you got to clean before you clean, basically. No, I know, pretty much, right? Now, <laughs> if do. you vacuum or uh, if you sweep, sometimes it leaves behind these tiny little particles. Yeah. Now, I'm going to make matters worse here. We're going to use some chocolate sauce. We've got so chocolate. Michael, milk. you're actually okay. So you're picking up dry and liquid messes at the same time. Yes, I oh, mean this neat. is the reason I do this mess is because you have got a wet mess, you have got a dry you mess, and you've got a really sticky, gooey mess as well. Now, don't blink if you're watching at home. Okay, oh, this is man. not a magic trick. Yeah. But literally everything sticks to it, from dust, dirt, dog hairs, cat hairs, sticky, gooey messes. Um, so you don't necessarily always have to sweep or vacuum before you mop. Can I, mean, I say pretty that's much... actually more absorbent than I thought it would be? Yeah, I mean, that was, that was a That was a significant size mess. And when, I, when you consider the alternative, so if you didn't have the hurricane, what are you doing? First, you're getting, you're, you're gonna yell at whoever did the mess, right? Yeah. And then you're getting a dustpan and a broom for the dry stuff. Yes. And then you're getting down on your hands and your knees with maybe paper towels and sponges or whatever for the wet stuff. And then you're throwing away those paper towels and you're going back to the mess. There's, there's really nothing quite like it that I've ever seen on the air here, Michael. No, I know, right? And you can yeah. see, like, this is the game changer right here. You never have to, um, your hands will never touch the dirty mop pad. Your hands will never ever get That's into terrific. that dirty, disgusting mop water you let the bucket do the cleaning for you it's pretty much just like a squeegee a squeegeeing all that dirt right off that microfiber yep. pad very safe very easy to use you then simply place it out into the drier side now watch this it's got waterfall technology right here watch this because when I push down on this it actually oh you can actually hear it drying yeah, it, off. it squeezes out all yeah. the rest of the dirt now You've just seen me do that. Look at that. You're always mopping your floor with a clean pad. And to me, I mean, that makes great, great sense. Your hands never touch that dirty, disgusting Ever. mop water. Your hands never touch that uh, dirty, disgusting mop yeah. head. So it's, it's like it's cleaning and polishing at the same yes. time, yet it requires very little strength because it just weighs a couple of pounds. It really weighs virtually nothing. And from an ecological standpoint, let alone the financial one, because you're not throwing away things, that's the whole idea. You're not creating a landfill. You're not throwing and buying more pads. But then you're also getting that larger surface area, so you're covering more ground and you're covering more territory. And not to be disrespectful, but the alternative, that, that pad that you have to keep wrapping around that, that head on the other version or similar concept out there, that's not gonna do a great job with the wet messes that Michael did. In fact, you're really only using that for dusting or picking up dry things possibly, but you're not using it for the variety of messes that you're doing tonight. Right, I know, you're absolutely right. I mean, this mop does pick up absolutely everything on any floor surface. You have hardwood floors, yeah. if you have vinyl floors uh, right here. We're gonna show you how it works on a tile floor or a marble floor. Look at that, it always leaves that nice shine look. It I does. mean, that's the thing with microfiber. I mean, you, you gotta, if you've never used microfiber, if you're still using that tatty old dust mop, you've got to try the Hurricane in and out mop. You can see right there, so it's perfect if you have marble or you want that high gloss shine. Yeah. If you have something a little bit rougher like travertine. Sure. Um, now, because uh, the mop pad comes with those little scrubbies on the bottom, it's ideal for cleaning the grout as well. Uh, for ceramic tile floors. Now this Perfect. right here, I don't know what the guys put on this, but oh. you can see right here, this, <laughs> this is not coming off. That is not coming off, no. no. Look at the difference. Oh my now watch this microfiber, it like yeah. cuts through oh, this mess. Oh, it does, doesn't it? So you can make an old dingy floor look shiny, yeah. shiny new. I mean, that is why you need the Hurricane in and out mop. I mean, this is absolutely Phenomenal. Isn't that cool? And the best part is that I'm gonna pick, I'm, not, I'm still not gonna rinse this mop. Let's uh, throw down some of Shannon's favorite right here. Red wine. Okay. I know you love your glass of wine you, you once know, in a while. You know, and, and hey, life happens, messes happen, <laughs> spills happen, Michael. What no, can exactly. I say? I mean, spills happen all the time. It could yeah. be a spill. Uh, maybe you got like a nervous uh, puppy dog or your bathtub overflows or, you know, like any type of spill. Rather than get on your hands and knees wow. with paper towels, Grab your spin mop. I mean, you grab your hurricane in and out mop right there. Look at that. Isn't there that awesome? is your mess in the pad. But hey, I, right. actually, I keep saying I'm I'm impressed at the absorbability because you look at it and you think, oh, okay, dry stuff, fine. Yes. But if it can do wet messes, if it can do dry messes at the same time, but just like when you take your car through the car wash and you have that dry cycle, it's got a little two-cycle system going on here. No, exactly. I mean this. 
is what makes this mop so unique. Now, remember, you're not getting this bucket. This is the one, uh, we just put glass right. here in the front. Right. Just so you can see what's happening. Obviously, yours is gonna be blue. But this mm. is the game changer right here. This is the washing this side. So it's cool. one I side like to this. wash. You then place the mop in the dryer side, the other side to dry. So you wash with one side, you dry with the other side. You're always, always mopping your floor yeah. with a clean, white microfiber Do you know what's so pad. interesting? If, if you didn't know better, if you wouldn't have seen Michael just do that demonstration live, you'd think that you put a brand new head on. Right. I mean, you'd think that was a brand new microfiber pad. It looks that clean. It looks like it's fresh out of the yeah, box. Yeah, I know, that exactly, yeah. Been used. And that's the one that you had chocolate syrup, he did wine, he picked up what the, not those little dry coffee grounds or whatever they were. So that's the one that Michael's been using over and over and over again. Yet at the same time, you can use it for dusting purposes as well. You do get the two heads, and remember, you use them over and over and over and over and over. Now you're gonna show up, this is the polishing head that we're gonna show off next, right, Michael? Yes, this is the polishing head. You get two pads with this uh, so you get the you get the microfiber the polish and the gray one's really great for if you've got wood floors uh, and right here, I mean, I'm going to show you how great this is for polishing. No one has a mirror on their floor okay <laughs> right. now I'm going to mop on a mirror right yeah. here and you can see the difference the microfiber let the microfiber do the cleaning look it will leave no streak marks or smear marks whatsoever now think about this if you can get a mirror this clean yeah. imagine how clean your floors That's are going to really be impressive that, it is. Yeah, that is the power. no streaking whatsoever. Right, no streaks None. whatsoever. That means you don't have to put a towel down underneath no. your feet to dry your floor. Look at that. That is why you need the Hurricane in and out mop. I mean, this thing is absolutely Look phenomenal. at that control, though. You're getting right up against the baseboard. As you said, Michael, you can go around the commode. You can go around any corner. You can go around any baseboard. So it's not as if you have... The, the, it, the hurricane does the maneuvering as opposed to you maneuvering for it, right. basically. Right, exactly. So it's doing all the work. And the other thing about this is it's, it's terrific for those of us out there who have a lot of different types of flooring in our home. But it, if you have hardwood, if you have formica, if you have pergo or tile, or if you're fortunate enough to have marble or travertine, those are significant investments and we all love them. It's just hard to get them clean without leaving a deposit of water. And that's the one thing when I got the hardwood floors in, in my home, even the custom installer, he's like, now you know you can't put water on this. And then I'm even thinking, why did not, why didn't anyone make that really abundantly clear <laughs> before yeah. I paid for this investment? A fortune, yeah. You're right, because you think, how am I gonna clean the doggone things then if I can't leave water on them? But that squeegee function, that's the second part of that uh, bucket, gets it so dry, it's not depositing or leaving any residue on the floor whatsoever. No, exactly. I mean, that's what's so great about this mop is you control how wet or how damp the mop is. Yeah. I mean, right there we've got, it's, you know, it's sticky, it's smelly, it's uh, soy sauce right there. Um, just look at this, the microfiber just does the cleaning Boy. for you. So and no and problem soy sauce whatsoever. can really almost well, you can get smell it here. Right yeah, there, I was right? going to say, I, can, I, I, <laughs> I knew what it good. was without you even saying that because soy sauce does get really sticky. Good grief. I've spilled that on my counter before and had a heck of a time just wiping it up by hand, for heaven's sake. Right. I mean, look at that. I've just cleaned up that oh, soy sauce yeah. just like so. When you turn the mop over, you can see there is all that mess inside that microfiber mop pad. Yeah. You can see those black lines that's the scrubbies right there now to get this clean look remember just take it over to your bucket there's no bending your back None. there's no putting your hands in the dirty water there's no having to peel this pad off you don't throw this pad away you reuse it time and time again hundreds and hundreds of users just in one yeah. microfiber pad you then just simply place it in here watch this watch how when i push down look you can see how it's pushing out all that soy sauce, all that nastiness gets pushed right out of the mop head, right into the bucket. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't get any easier okay, now than that's this. crazy. Even before you dry it off, once more, if you didn't see us do this live with no cutting away, you would just assume, okay, that can't be the one that he cleaned the soy sauce with. 
you see it's 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 taken it all off so it's not sticky so now if you wanted to put it you know use it in the bathroom if you wanted to use it on your hardwood floors you can take it from room to room and not worry about that residue and certainly not worry about breaking your back and michael makes an excellent point the fact that you don't even have to get down and put pressure on your back to yeah. get down to the mop bucket itself and and wring the sucker out and then of course you're using it over and over and over and over again there is that maneuverability the absorbency is what really sets my jaw dropping because you just, I don't know, for me, I did not expect it to be so super absorbent. I mean, it's its its impressive for the size and especially for the price. No, exactly. I mean, it really is. It does pick up every type of mess, you know, wet messes. Uh, we've got coffee granules here. We've yeah. got tomato sauce. Um, we've got orange juice. Now, imagine if that orange juice was uh, really like a puppy, uh, a puppy mess. Sure. I mean, this, you know, if you use this mess just, I mean, use this mop just for picking up. See, um, look at that. That was a, again, that was a, that was a big piddle poodle puddle. <laughs> piddle poodle puddle. <laughs> piddle poodle puddle thing. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, everything like dog hairs, cat hairs, yeah. coffee granules. You don't necessarily always have to sweep or vacuum before you mop. Everything sticks to the mop pad just like a magnet. Again, look, what you're going to do is yeah. just uh, lift that mop up. Look, there is your whole entire mess inside the mop. You just take it over to your bucket. Look, yeah. you've got to just make sure it's straight, just like so. You okay. push down and look at that. That is how Lickety you split. clean the mop pad. I mean, it doesn't get yeah. any better than that. So Michael, I would guess it's probably pretty good for hair, though, too, right? Oh, really good, yeah, for dog hairs, cat hairs. If you've got a hairy spouse, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> for that <too>. Okay, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> and I want to watch, uh, watch the waterfall technology here when I push down on the mop pad. That's what pushes out the rest of the dirt. So you're always mopping your floor with a clean pad. You've got a clean nice. mop. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. It, it is. Price is right, too. Remember, it's a little over $13 on your credit card to get it at home. Thank you for coming in for Thank me. Thank you very much. No problem at all. You're welcome. Uh, you're coming back tomorrow with us as well. Yes. Okay.